Well, good morning, everyone. I hope you all are doing great. I hope you're enjoying now that we are actually vlogging to you guys in the camera here and actively recording our semi day to day activities. Today is an exciting day. We are going to ride out to the Big Sioux and watch the start of the Iditarod. This is the 51st anniversary of the Iditarod sled dog race. It's just under a thousand miles that they will be racing today from Willow to Nome. They should get there in about eight to 10 days. Um, the weather is looking fantastic for the next week, so they should have a pretty nice run. However, you know, what happens here in South Central may be very different out on the West Coast. But uh, regardless, it is a gorgeous day to go riding today, guys. I'm so excited. I know Gary is too. Unfortunately, Gary has some carpet tunnel issues going on with his hands. We haven't rode in a week uh, as he's been recovering since our last ride. So I really hope today doesn't hurt him. Also, I have a secret to share with you guys. Gary doesn't know this, but this week, is his birthday. He turns 50 um, next Saturday. And as a uber duber surprise, he's not here right now. So that's why I can tell you his parents are flying up for his 50th birthday. They're going to fly up uh, in two days on Tuesday night. They're going to get in around midnight. And um, I just realized I'm totally on security camera. Hopefully, I know he's not watching. He's going to get fuel right now. Uh, but uh, they're going to fly up in two nights, stay the night in Anchorage because they get in at midnight. And I can't really pull off a, a surprise by saying, honey, I need to go to Anchorage at midnight. So uh, we got them a room. I got them a room. And our friends are going to go pick them up Wednesday morning and bring them over here. And we're going to have a, just a total normal Wednesday morning. He has no clue and his parents will just walk in the door. So I'll be sure to catch that or try my best without him getting too suspicious. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. But anyways, back to today. Today is March 4th, 5th, 5th, 5th Sunday the 5th. Uh, we originally had planned to rent a cabin and just ride from the cabin way shorter distance but again Gary's hands um really really hurt this week in fact we're gonna go see the doctor on Monday uh maybe start the process to have surgery so we canceled our cabin but we're still gonna ride today from the house in all it'll be about a 65 mile round trip uh we did the same run last weekend we'll shorten it a little bit just because we were out exploring but uh yeah we're going to take you along. I have the drone. I hope to pop up the drone. We've got snacks in our sleds and we're going to just hang out. Uh, we're not going to be at the official start. We're going to be quite a ways down the trail. What is called Scary Tree. It will actually be up the Yetna River. So they will have been on the trail for, I would say, maybe 20, 30 miles. I'm not exactly positive the mileage from the start to where we'll be at. So that's why we're not rushing this morning. The start starts at 2 p.m. It's currently 11. We have plenty of time to get out there. All right, so I hope you enjoy. Keep it a secret. And uh, we'll see you on the trail. Hi. Sophie, are you excited to see Grandma and Papa? Yeah, they're coming up. Yeah, shh. Don't tell daddy, all right? All right. What do you got on your nose? What do you got on your nose, pumpkin? Oh, all right. Saved your life. All right, let's go in. Oh, spirit is nice and toasty and warm in here. Are you guys gonna take care of the house while we're gone, huh? Yeah, you're such a slow barian. Yeah, yeah. Good girl. All right, take care of the house. Mm. 
These are a must. And today, sunglasses. Well, northbound traffic is pretty heavy today. Wow, there's a lot of people going that way with snow machines and all their fun stuff. So, Ooh, it's gonna be a good day. Where were you? I went to get fuel for the machines. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot of machines and a lot, a lot of trailers and all that full of snow machines in that part of fuel lot too. So it's gonna be busy up there in Willow today. All right, you excited for today's run? Looking forward to it, yeah, we'll see how we go. It's yeah. gonna be a good one. I was already talking to them about your hands. Yeah, uh, you know, I'm just going to make it work. It's just, it's one of those things that i got to power through and can't do any more damage than already, it is already there. So, hey. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens. Right. Tomorrow the doctor's going to love me, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. All right, let's fuel these things up and get out of here. All right. We're just changing out our goggles to Bluebird Sunny Day. And uh, we're going to head out to the Big Sioux. All right, see you out there. As you can tell, Gary and I have spent a lot of time on our snow machines this winter. This is our first winter of really getting to use our machines, and I'll be honest, when I started the season, I had never ridden a machine on my own. I had always been a passenger. And when I first started riding as a novice, 14 miles an hour scared the living daylights out of me. So this day, as we are going to the Iditarod out at Scary Tree, the conditions were perfect. In every ride, I always challenged myself to do something new, either go out into the swamps and carve, or hit that next mile per hour mark uh, as a new record. And this day, I did it. I hit the fastest I had ever gone on my machine, and honestly, I think it's the fastest I could go, because it would not go any more than this. 85. 103. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, I don't want to ever go faster than that. <laughs> and I don't think my machine would allow me. Right.
yeah, we've been following this uh, moose uh, for a little while now, and uh, she's wanting to stay on this trail because it's, it's a nice hard trail, and there's four to four feet plus of snow right there, so she's having a hard time walking in the deep snow. Um, moose are, are really aggressive animals. Um, if you approach them too quickly, they have a tendency to charge, and they charge hooves first. And when their hooves are bigger than my hands, they do a lot of damage. So there's a respect issue going on right now. We're giving her the space that she needs. So, and where we need to go, it's wide open, is like a hundred yards away. Right, you can see through those trees. That's that's the big Sioux, the river that we're going to. And uh, she's just, she's holding us back. But she is off the trail right now. We'll give it a few and uh, see what happens. She's munching on something so. uh -huh. every day just daily life in Alaska coming down the trail right there. That's not a dog sled. Is he gonna land? He might be landing right there. You see that? I think he's landing right there in the river. Yep. And down. I guess he's just using the uh, Iditarod trail as a, as a uh, taxiway. Well, he came to join us. There you go. You know, a lot of snow machines out here and an airplane. That's kind of cool. So, hey guys, welcome to Scary Tree. This is uh, a major intersection, or not an intersection, but just a major part of the course for the 2023 Iditarod. This is the largest, the toughest, the biggest uh, sled dog race in the world. It goes from, well, the start is in Anchorage, then they do a restart in Willow, and they go all the way out to Nome, Alaska. So just under a thousand miles on our dog sled. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how long it takes them, a, a week? Eight to ten days. Eight to ten days. That's amazing. So, yeah. our last time when we were, I had GoPro issues, unfortunately. I don't know what's going on with my cameras, but. Not good luck today. The last time I actually took the phone out and talked to you guys, we were dealing with the moose. Uh, yeah. And that was just the beginning of dealing with this moose. We were stuck for about an hour and we had a traffic jam what we had about 10 machines probably 10 machines 12 14 people yeah and the moose just would not let us pass oh she was holding that trail hard she was she was not happy she was very angry and unfortunately all 10 of us no one had a pistol to make noise so yeah not to shoot the animal but just to scare the animal away you know a big loud bang sometimes will scare the animal away we tried our whistle that we have on board she wouldn't didn't phase her i did get the shovel out and i banged the shovel several times fairly loudly and that scared her and, and she i think charged. prompted her to charge a moment later she didn't get all the way to us it was it was, it was a, a false, false charge. charge which is still scary as heck because even, even though she wasn't a huge animal she was big enough to do a lot of damage to any one of us so yeah at all times we were trying to put the sleds between her and us and just be aware of what she could do we bunched up, uh, yep. the group of us, especially all the women, uh, <laughs> the guys tried to protect us. Uh, we eventually had to break trail and go around. She wasn't getting off the trail and, and you know, there's down trees and snags and all sorts of weird stuff when, when you're not on the trail and we weren't quite sure. So somebody else with more experience than us actually went down through and broke a path and uh, we're able to follow that uh, mostly fairly easily. There was a couple of instances where we had to help out another lady get her machine unstuck. Um, but we all got out safely after an hour delay. <laughs> it, it, but, uh, it was a little spooky, a little yeah. scary. Uh, moose, that's the number one deadly animal in Alaska. You know, her, she had a, she was, she was aggressive. She had her ears pinned back, her hackles were up. I mean, her, her, her neck was all flared out. Her hackles were just standing on it. it was, a bit scary to see. So. 
As you can tell, it's getting really busy here. Yeah, it is. We're at a place called Scary Tree. Um, the Scary Tree... Well, well, it's not there anymore. So, Scary Tree used to be a tree on the bank here. It looked like it was going to fall down. Kind of like down. that big one over there hanging over the edge, but that's Similar straight up Similar to that one, but uh, instead, if you see over here, there's some branches with little ghost bags on it. So, we're here with the masses to watch the running of the Iditarod. Yes. And being on the water for this one. Just kind of water for a little It's, uh, what's the time check, oh, babe? Time check. 304. 304. So they've been on the trail for an hour. Yeah. And uh, another gentleman was totally telling us that they should hit here around 315, 330. So Not we're close. Longer. We're close. Yep. And my gosh, the amount of people, planes, snow machines, moose, and everything. Yeah, <laughs> we just had a moose come through. <laughs> Luckily, he stayed away and uh, just skirted the uh, side of the river. But yeah, switched out into warm fur hat and uh, just hanging out, enjoying the sunshine and waiting for the dogs to come through. Oh yeah, got us nice out here. I can feel the warmth of my face. It feels so I good. can feel the warmth of the sun, uh, absolutely. I'm glad I brought our sunglasses. Oh, yeah. so. yep. March sun is so nice. Good times. It's 4.03 and still no sign, but considering the air traffic has really oh, it's ramped up. up. A lot. I think we've got five planes just landed down there. Um, I think they are close. They're getting close. They're getting close. We keep looking and down that way. As well as the planes, I mean, the, the number of machines have shown There's up. There's another plane landing down there. there. The number of machines have shown up. Holy crap, there's a lot of people out here right now. Oh, who's coming? He's coming right down the road. And I'm, I'm... <laughs> He's right down the trail. <laughs> Hopefully I catch it. Okay, that was cool. Yeah. I mean, he wasn't 30 feet off the ground. So, still quite the party going on. Mm -hmm. People have barbecues. I've seen... A wood stove. Mm. Yep. Lots of drinking. Everyone's being respectful though and uh, not crazy. Mm -hmm. But just having a good day. A we couldn't ask weather. for be better weather. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, I don't know. It's cold. It's cold. Got to have gear on. But uh, the sun is making it so nice. Yes, I can feel the sun on my face. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it helps for what is exposed. It feels good. Yeah. If we didn't have that sun, uh, I would have face masks. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. We're having fun. Any minute now, we should see a, a sled dog, sled dog team coming around the corner. So, for the time being, the planes are providing the entertainment. Yeah, the machines, people are playing on the machines, having fun here and there. Yeah. And uh, just goofing off. Yep. Enjoying life. That's what you do out here on a frozen river. <laughs> Hard to believe this is all water. Right. <laughs> well, he's got a... He's got to watch out now. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, here comes the first team. <clears throat> Coming down the straightaway right now. This is the first team out of Willow. Making it down to the Yetna River. Scary tree crossing. The musher stopped and he's checking on his team, making sure they're all doing okay. Giving us a nice little personal show. Yeah. Cool. They just want to go. They do. These dogs are doing well leading. There you go. Yeah, Well, that was cool. Team, the first team, and he was team number five? Five, and there's 32 teams left. Is that how There's 33 teams this year, I believe it was. All right, well, yeah. that was fun. I see team two. Next team. Oh yeah, the next team's coming. coming. We'll uh, maybe get out a little closer. I uh, don't want to get in their way, but pretty cool. Yeah. They <laughs> did too. Okay, second team through, and the third team is already coming right up. That's kind of nice how they're yeah. nicely stacked. Not too far apart. All right, we'll turn around and show you the next team. The dogs want to follow the stakes. Good job! And just like that, the fourth team is coming up the trail. So that team that just went by was Brent Sass, and he has won. He won last year. Yes. Yeah, he was the Iditarod champion last year. All right, it's only been maybe a minute and a minute and a half, and the next team is in sight. They want to turn, though. Nope. <laughs> no. And turn. <laughs> go next <laughs> All right, guys, keep it up. Way to go. <laughs> so 
I've gotten down on the dog level. I'm sitting on the ground. The dogs are trained to follow these stakes, so I'm just right off of some of the stakes. And here comes our next team. <laughs> hey guys. Being down on the level of the dogs, the dogs are literally looking me in the eye like, hey, it's pretty cool. There's Gary over there. Looking at all the machines, but I see another team coming. Wow, it's still happening. We still got a bunch of teams coming through. Uh, people are handing them food and snacks, and and uh, well, yeah, turkey legs, cheese, kind of stuff going out to the to the runners. Mushers. Uh, this is awesome. Mushers, honey, not runners. Mm, race runners, mushers. Yeah, wherever they are. They're mushers. They're mushers. Actually, that sign right down there. I can't see it very well from here, but there's a sign now, sign post over there that says, "I love mushers." So that's what we got going on here. A bunch of mushing. Kind of cool. And just like that, another team's on our way. Nine hundred and like eighty nine miles. That's too far. That is a long way. Long ways on a, on a dog sled. All right, here comes another team. Two teams coming within sight. Way to go, Eddie! Oh! 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 <laughs> Way to go, Matthew! Yeah. They're up there! They're up there. Hard to tell. 17, 17. This is Eric Kelly from Connect. Eric. Way to go, Eric! Eric, 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 Eric. 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 That was Eric. <laughs> Riley. 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 All right, Riley, keep it up! Way to go, Riley! Good luck! Good luck! Good luck! Good luck! Good luck! Good Katie Joe from Katie. Katie Joe. Way to go, Katie! Katie, way to go! Keep it up, Katie! Woo! 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 No, this way, this way, this way! There you go! <laughs> <laughs> Is it 19? Yep. Bridget Watkins from Fairbanks. What's the name? Bridget. Good job, Bridget! Come on, Bridget! Good job, Bridget!
great day to be outside. This is so fun. Cheering on the dog, the, the dog sled teams as they come by. Talking to other folks. Are just out here enjoying the same thing, doing the same thing. Seeing all the activities happening. This is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Here comes a team now. Look at them. Pushing down the trail. Number 22. What did you say time it was? Five o'clock. What's that mean? Beer time. I fireball wish, time. I wish I had a beer, but I got fireball. <laughs> <laughs> I think we are going to wrap it up here soon. We have about an hour and a half ride back home. Mm -hmm. And it would be nice to get home before the sun sets. Well, we got lights for that. I'm not worried about it. We know where we're going. We've right been up. on these trails. The crowd is lightning. Actually, it is thinning quite a quickly. But, uh, and the other problem is we don't know exactly where we are in the count. Oh, for the for the mushers. For the yeah. mushers. There's been a lot to gone by, but there's 30, 30 mushers, so I'm not sure where we are. Yeah, so I think we're getting near the end. Correct. So I think we're going to call this a wrap. A wrap. A wrap. <laughs> and we're going to head home, so. We will see you back at the house. That or, or in the middle of the trail. Well, yeah, if we have another, hopefully no more moose excitement. <laughs> All right, bye. Right. As we're packing up to leave, we've got three more teams coming, so uh, we'll catch them as they go by. Oh, oh this way, over here. <laughs> there oh, they oh. go. <laughs> there you go. Alright, good job, good job. Woo! Turkey leg! Turkey leg. <laughs> and he snagged a turkey leg. Alright, way to go! hair I can't help it uh, yeah. it's time to switch out to our helmets and get ready for the ride home uh, we're unsure if there's
still teams out on the trail, but it's time to head back. Sun's getting lower and uh, we have moose spaghetti waiting for us at home. So, all right. This time we're really gonna turn off the camera and uh, head back, so. We'll see you back at the house. Bye. So I just needed to stop and show you the surrounding mountains. It is absolutely gorgeous. So we're bringing the camera. Oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful evening. The sunset was amazing. The colors are full in the sky right now. It is so, so beautiful. We had to stop and take a couple photos and talk to you guys about this amazing backyard that we have. So fortunate, so blessed to uh, call Alaska our home. Uh, this is just, this is beautiful. I love it. Absolutely. We are almost home. We've got a little ways to go, but we are definitely on the home stretch. Yep. And uh, it's been a long day. Uh, I don't know what time it is. Do you? I don't know. My phone's in the... I can't get to it. Right here. Stand by. All right. I just did a time check. It is 646. We oh. left the river at 530. Right. It's an hour and 15 minutes to get out this far. I'm not sure what the mileage so far is. And I'd no. say we have a half an hour, less than a half an hour home. Yeah, not too far. Yeah, so we just want to thank you for uh, watching today's adventure. Oh, lots of fun. I know our name is RVing to Alaska, but now we live in Alaska. So we get to show you the Alaska life and what we do on a daily basis. So kind of give you an idea why we wanted to move here. This is it. Yeah, so it's, it's summer's amazing. beautiful, but winter, yeah. I mean, it's just as beautiful. And yeah, we have our helmets on right now and goggles and all that because it's kind of not the easiest just to whip the helmet off and do all this stuff. So it's set right now really nice. I don't have any wind gaps. I think Stacy's good too. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we just did a, a, a five mile stretch, about 50 miles, 50 miles an hour, just running down the straight stretch. You can see it, and the cut right there. Right down through there. So, so it was no wind. Today I hit the stretch 85 miles an hour. And what did you do? Shoot, I got you on that. I only hit 103. <laughs> Just 103 miles an hour for the whole stretch, like from here to five miles that way. So it, it was a record for both of us for uh, speed. So, and we do that kind of stuff in the morning on the, on the when we start our run because we're fresh. I don't want to do it right now because I'm fatigued, worn out. Yes. We want to get home in <laughs> one piece. Yep. All right. Well, we, uh, God, that, that sunset is absolutely. I think you need to walk forward and get the machines in the sunset. Oh, that's a good picture. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. Gorge. Yep. Oh, right. Okay, right. definitely not as beautiful this direction. <laughs> but look, that's the full moon. Is it full? Yeah, yeah pretty much. That's a pretty much full moon right there. And we've got the mountains. They were shining earlier, but right there. That's the magic. So, if you like this video, please give us that big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And uh, leave us a comment down below if you have any questions. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, have a great day, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. As always, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We thank you for watching. Until next time, Pow Hana! Hana.